Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are talking about designer items in my collection that I never use. I think the last time I did this video it was like two years ago and some of the reasons are like it's sentimental value, you know, I, I, I simply couldn't part ways with this item, you know, and some of them it's for other reasons. I think a couple of these overlap with the video that I did a couple of years ago but the majority of these are sort of newer additions. Maybe I need to sell them. I don't know, but hopefully this process of doing this video might uh, help me come to some conclusions. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. So the first sort of designer items that I haven't touched in about maybe like four or five years. It's not good, okay? designer shawls slash scarves right we've got a gucci we've got two louis vuitton and we have a versace these literally have been in their designated box that i've stored them in for a long time and i haven't i've not missed them and the thing is is that i used to be very much into them okay they were very much a an added accessory i would i would add to an outfit or whatever and I think that my style has just changed it really has you know I used to um I used to love a bit of this once around the back here we go with a sort of jacket and a plain t-shirt underneath and she's off sort of thing and I did I loved it I loved the vibe it's just not my style anymore and I think that I need to sort of come to terms with that are they useful for things like you know traveling planes get a bit chilly don't they they've never got the air con quite right you know also I mean I've spoken about this a number of times if you're a seasoned subscriber then you know you know the situation but the Louis Vuitton ones uh stringy McStringerson okay pulling and things and it looks a bit ratty to be honest with you look at that look at that Rattigan Basil the Great Mouse Detective you know it's all str it doesn't it doesn't look nice okay I mean they all need a good steam but so the poor quality of the LV paired with the fact that it's just not my style anymore it's not something that I really like add to zhuzh up a look maybe I keep one and get rid of the rest I don't know but I don't use them the next item is a very controversial one because I know that it's super super popular and I am in the minority of the people that own this bag and don't really reach for it I'm well aware of this this is the Chanel large Deauville tote oh my gosh oh my gosh I think I think we've got the sodding price in here here we go this will be interesting to see okay so this was bought in Heathrow Terminal 3 okay so there's like a 16% off there but this was bought in when 2012 for 1,562 and how much are these now nearly three grand or well, they are three grand I don't know I'll put the price up on the screen now here's the thing uh this wasn't mine my mum bought this didn't use it gave it to me I then used it a hell of a lot in uni don't ask me why because it's not got any structure and I would put books in it and it would just be saggy mcsaggerson have I touched this since I left uni no I haven't and I don't know if, well, I think a big factor is the size of it. You know, I'm very much a TBE kind of girl. Medium to small size bags I'm happy with. Uh, large bags for me are purely for travel. And that's it. I just, I just don't have a lot of stuff that I'm taking around with me. Plus the very relaxed structure of this. Um, that annoys me. I know that I could probably get a bag organiser, but I don't even use it enough to get an organiser for it, you know? Anyway, yeah, realistically, the only times I'm going to use this is by the beach or by the pool. And I took it to Ghana with me last August. I didn't even use it then. I used my um, Gucci tote, really, because I was like, oh, it's got a bit more structure. I was going to, like, take some books or whatever. So I didn't even reach for it then. But I'm not getting rid because I've still got faith in all honesty yeah i haven't I haven't touched that in about what seven years going on eight the next one's another controversial one because it's very popular and i loved this i still do love it i still do love it um this is the bowman blazer okay the classic bowman blazer that every woman should own 
I really wore this a lot the first year that I got it and I got it quite recently what like two years ago maybe for my birthday um and I'm happy I've got it I do still see myself wearing this for specific situations and looks and everything but it's very much the obvious choice and what I mean by that is again I live in London so put things in that context okay if you were to go to Harrods, you would at least spot two people in a Balmain blazer. It's just very, like, prevalent. In Not that there's anything wrong with having something that's popular. Um, it's just that I think visually I get a bit bored. I think that's it. It's not like, I don't want the same thing as anyone else. Which, you know, I think we all love a bit of that. Like, oh, that's a little bit on the exclusive side, right? But honestly, that bit doesn't really irk me. It's more than just, like... It's not as exciting to me as it was. Does that make sense? And so I kind of end up in situations where I should gravitate towards this. I end up grabbing it, gravitating towards, I've got a Scanlan Theodore blazer. I'll put an insert so you can see me wearing it. Which is a very similar vibe with its tailoring and it's quite, you know, like sharp and, and tailored and all of that. But it's not as obvious as the Bowman blazer does that make sense so i really haven't gravitated towards it recently and that's why next up these you know what i'm not even mad about these okay because these got the love that they needed when i got them okay these are the gucci prince town floral slip-ons and just in i mean you just need to sit look at that she's been used okay she's been loved so and she will be loved and she will be loved maroon 5 once again at some point maybe not by me i don't know wore these to death absolutely loved them all right comfortable clip clopping around you really do clip clop because that's quite a that's quite heavy foot there if you're on a wooden surface and you're clip clopping around yeah once again not my style anymore Honestly, if I'm in a flat shoe, it's a boot, it's a sneaker, or if it's summer, it's a sandal. You know, it's not really a loafer. I think we both know, we both know, that I'm not really a loafer's gal. Love it for other people, it's just not my style, you know? This is, you know, Cassie 2.0, and I'm on Cassie 4.0. It's just how things go. And I think as well, you know, all of this is part of finding your personal style. At the time, this was my style, and I was loving it and all of that. And my style is, I don't know if it's changed or I've just like honed in on it a bit more. And I'm like, no, this is exactly like, this is very me. And this is me trying to be something I'm not and trying to just jump on the back of something that I think that I should be wearing, you know? Anyway, so very much thank you for your service. I mean, you're still in, in, in a good, in good nick. It's like an X, you know? It's like, thank you for your contributions at the time, but I'm with someone else. <laughs> so this one is again something that was very very popular this was the it girl dress for a few years there okay and this is the retrofit wrap dress if i can figure out where the where the top is there we go it's like a wrap dress you cinch yourself together blah blah, blah. It's fully fully sequined okay she's a she's a showstopper has it died down a bit for her. Is it a bit quiet for the retrofit wrap dress now? A, a bit, yeah. Here's a, in a similar way to the Gucci slip-ons, right? Some things are trends and um, you buy into the trend and a year or two later you're like, I'm kind of done with it. I'm, I'm over it. But there are some things that are trends and you buy into it, but it's so very true to your style that it doesn't matter then when the trend is over because you're like, no, I still love rocking this because this is very me, you know? And I feel like this was one of them. Um, is this really like a very me style? Not really, you know, for like a fancy dress. I'm not really going to go for a wrap dress, you know? So it was a little bit out of my style vicinity anyway. And then that meant that when the trend died down, I was a bit like, not that sorry to see you go we're going through a lot of popular ones today aren't we this is one of those it's a classic you'll have it forever stuart weissman highland built highland boot. kick me in the neck why don't you stuart weissman highland boots the over the knee the heeled version i wore that i used to wear these a lot 
and once again I think that this is a case of my style is no longer here you know like I used to love a sweater dress and these didn't we all jeans tucked into these that was a sodden nightmare tell you what else was a nightmare was constantly having to retie the back of them because gravity is a thing and they descend down your legs and then it's not a vibe it's not a vibe if it's wrinkly is it no you got to keep scooching up I didn't enjoy that aspect anyway so when it comes to a boot I can't tell you the last time I reached for these it's been years because if I'm looking for a boot oh I gravitate towards my Paris Texas or if we're going to do an over the knee let's do the I am Jennifer Lee and let's bring it home with a little bit of statement item number seven I'm not getting rid of it but look I'm here to be honest Chanel wallet on chain caviar leather gold hardware I love this and I, I am somebody that thinks that everybody should have a wallet on chain in their collection it doesn't have to be Chanel no but I think it's a great style to have I'm happy to have her in the collection and all of that I think it's just with me it's come to a place where the situations that I would use this bag I would use any of my other like TB tiny bag energy moments and I'm just more into them than I am into this right now there will be situations where something a little bit a little bit more might work but right now i'm gonna take out a tiny little chanel or a tiny fendi you know just because they're comically small it adds something else to a look and this is very sort of um complimentary and not quite a statement side dish main course you know what i mean so that's just that it's just that as my collection has grown I've had wandering eyes I have for other items in situations that I would use this okay I'm doing a two-in-one for this one both of these are sneakers um and slightly similar you'll see Versace chain reactions love a ton arch lights these are very much chunky statement shoes and if you look at recently the types of trainers and sneakers that I've been buying they've been a bit more minimal and look I do still very much like see myself in looks where like yeah let's bring her out let's bring her out you know as I've been spending more on ready to wear and those pieces tend to be a little bit logo or shouty I then want to tone down the foot section because what we don't need to be doing is having sodding Fendi print shorts going with this and then it's like no we're overdoing it we're overwhelming and I want the sort of clothes to have a moment to shine and not be overwhelmed so I think that's personally why I haven't gravitated towards these recently do I see that changing yes like I said I think there's a time and a place for the especially with more simple outfit then let's just make the shoe the star of the show the last item that I never use I have a few of these but to be honest with you this this says it all I've only got one here to show you because the rest are literally like nestled away not even in a place that I would reach for them because I don't reach for them so Chanel stud earrings okay number of reasons here I used to love these these were very much a go-to earring for me a day-to-day -day earring here's what's happened again it's a shift in style because I'm either in a statement hearing mood, a loop, a hoop, or something, or if I'm going to wear something more stud like, it's literally something like this, or it's a Dior Tribal, um, which I way prefer over the Chanel studs because they're not they're not logoy, and even the ones that are logoy aren't that logoy. There's something like interesting happening. I like the way that they look. I think they're a little bit more exciting compared to a Chanel stud, in my humble opinion. I think they're also better value for money because um, even in these, even in these, they look tatty over time. F fine jewelry isn't going to do that, but if you are going to spend on costume jewelry, specifically studs or day-to-day -day designer earrings these ones are just a bunch of bollocks to be honest guys let me know what you might have in your collection that you hardly ever gravitate towards and why so that I don't have to feel as bad I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys